Today we are going to discuss about fuel cells. Fuel cells are one type of electrochemical galvanic cells. That is, galvanic cells are designed to combustion energy is converts into electrical energy. Man, main observation is combustion energy ni electrical energy ka convert chese process ni thermal power plants la thori asam. Thermal power plants ro coal or gas or oil burn chese na puru produce ayi don heat energy ni electrical energy ka convert chese asam. Kani main ka marke thermal power plants ro maximum efficiency ani di forty percent asam thori. Plus down to part marke air pollution ani di possible hoti. Kani kar marke fuel cells ro maximum efficiency ani di seventy percent asam thori. Ahi the e fuel cells ro mano main ka construction ro alagay cell reaction ani kabdori asam thori. एलक्ट्रोड इज Coating with platinum or alloy. Platinum or alloy. On the left side of the anode is used for introduced by hydrogen gas. On the right side of the cathode is used for introduced by oxygen gas. Okay. In between the these two electrodes, electrolytic solution is present. These electrolytic solution is KOH or NaOH. KOH or NaOH. Is it clear? It is one outlet is present. Okay. Here it is anode. Here it is cathode. Okay, clear. Mainly, hydrogen and oxygen fuel cell having three compartments. Left side compartment is for hydrogen gas, and the right side compartment is for oxygen gas, and the middle compartment having NaOH or KOH, that is alkaline solution. Okay, clear it is. And the anode having hydrogen gas, each H2 molecule having two hydrogen atoms. These hydrogen atoms absorbed by platinum or palladium. That is, two H2 molecule upon dissociation to produce four H plus ions and four electrons. Okay, here it is four H plus ions, H plus, H plus, H plus. Okay, these four electrons are transferred from anode to cathode. Okay, these four H plus ions combine with Aqueous solution of OH minus ions that is 4H K plus and 4OH minus ions. These four H plus ions are combined with 4OH minus ions that is 4H plus ions combined with 4OH minus ions to produce 4 moles of water molecules. Okay, here it is 4 moles of water molecules. This total reaction at anode. Okay. Overall reaction at anode, 4H plus ions, 4H plus ions. Okay, remaining 2H2 plus 4OH minus ions gives rise to 4H2O plus 4 electrons. That is anodic reaction. Reaction at cathode. Reaction at cathode. Right side of the cathode, O2 gas is introduced. That O2 gas, each O2 molecule having two oxygen atoms. These two oxygen atoms are combined with the water molecule. That is anodic reaction O2 plus two moles of H2O and four electrons. Then to produce four moles of OH minus ions. Four moles of OH minus ions. That is here it is two H2O molecules. Two H2O molecules. These two H2O molecules are combined with O2 molecule. Then to produce 4 OH minus ions. 4 OH minus ions. Finally, these 4 OH minus ions are diluted in aqueous solution. 
okay overall reaction in a given electrochemical cell that is here it is anodic reaction here it is cathodic reaction four l cross four l cross and four oh minus ions four oh minus ions here it is two h2o here it is four h2o remaining is two h2o okay clear that is two h2 plus o2 gives rise to here it is two h2o okay that is total reaction divided by 2. Then H2 plus half O2 gives rise to H2O. That is the overall hydrogen and oxygen TSL reaction. Okay. Here it is the anodic reaction. Here it is the cathodic reaction. Here it is the overall reaction. Okay. Oxidation takes place at the anode. Oxidation takes place at the anode. Here it is 4 L cross are released. Releasing of L cross. Is called oxidation. Accepting of electrons are called reduction. Okay. Reduction takes place at a cathode and oxidation takes place at the anode. These hydrogen and oxygen fuel cells are mainly used in space ship. Advantages of hydrogen and oxygen fuel cells are it is 70 percent efficiency and operated at a high temperature 70 to 140 degrees centigrade. And most important is pollution free. Okay. But these cells are highly expensive okay clear